Okay, hey y'all, uh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm not sure what's going on with my um, system over here, but this is like the third time I've tried to do this video, and my computer and stuff that I use to film with, it keeps shutting down, I'm not sure why. But I'm going to go ahead and try to get through this video and see what's going on. Um, my name is Ronnie, and um, so... Today I thought that I would try to get some makeup or use some makeup that I've never tried before. I have used I have used makeup by these brands, just these particular items. I don't think I've ever used them. So I've already put on some. Um, I had some uh, eye mask on that I kept on for 20 minutes, and that was actually in the last clip of me taking them off and stuff. Um, I can't find I can't get that footage. I'll try to uh, piece everything together if I can. But um, for the next part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and try to use this Tinted Eye Primer in Champagne by Ulta Beauty. This is the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Okay. So that is what it looks like. And I had have a little bit of trouble getting it to come out. Not sure why. No, no, it's dark. All right, and I don't have anything on um, as far as a base or anything. Very messy. If you see me shaking my head or looking off to the side or something, more than likely it is going to be at one of my kids' cows. Hi. They apparently get hungry and thirsty. It's the it's the second one. So, by the way. So I'm just smoothing this over my eye right now, and I will let this dry. Looks like I need to clean it up a little bit. So I do have some cotton rounds like this. What I'm going to do is try to open them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some micellar. This is Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is all in one. Removes makeup, cleanses, and refreshes. So I'm going to take this and kind of clean up under my eyes and stuff where some of the primer gotch so as you can see ooh, today I don't think it's going to be my ma best makeup day but we shall get through it somehow I've got it on my nose but it does seem to be removing the makeup really really good And this is another new product I've not used. Okay, I don't think I'll be using that without a brush or shorter nails. So I have got it all over my face. So, I will be right back after I finish kind of cleaning this up. Alright, so while I go ahead and let the eye primer set, I am going to go ahead and with a new moisturizer. I typically use the same moisturizers time and time again. Let me just kind of adjust that. So, the moisturizer I'm going to go in with today is going to be the... Set of Feel Moisturizing Lotion. So this is the packaging. And I'm going to go ahead and just shake it up. It says body and face, all skin types. Um, I've never used anything by this brand. So I'm just going to quite, um, kind of squeeze it out, I guess. 
and I don't need a whole lot since I'm just putting it on the face. Nope. Okay. So as you can see, it's not very runny or anything. Just want to take a little bit in, just smooth on my face. Mm -mm. It feels very moisturizing. It feels really good. And I do have a mirror over here that I am looking at. So if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because I am looking in the mirror right now. This rest I'm going to use on my hands since it says face and body. Um, it feels really, really moisturizing. It's not sticky, so I like that. I may have to look into that brand in the future. Just adjust my mirror. There we go. Alright, so we got the moisturizer on. And um, the next thing we will be moving into is the primer. So this is Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. It says it hydrates and smooths. Um, it says wear alone or under makeup for comfortable wear. Most of this is the smaller versions of um, some things because I did get a couple Walmart boxes and this is the makeup that's coming out of hit. This is a Master Prime Studio uh, or Face Studio. Never used it. And I thought today would be a really good time to try it. So as you can see. Just a very, very small little bit. I tend not to use a whole lot of primers because I don't. You can add, but you can't really take away unless you want to redo the whole face. And sometimes a lot of primer may not be the best to use. So I'm just going to be using this over my face. And I will be doing a couple more videos after this. So I do hope that my makeup turns out really, really good. Okay. My hands off. I like that. We'll see how everything sticks. And like I said, this is all new makeup so I'm not really going to give it you know like judgmental oh it doesn't work because um a lot of this stuff is new products that you know I don't know how it, well it would work if I used it with regular makeup like my regular moisturizer and stuff so I'm not really going to say oh this is a bad product because it may just be you know something not working together like the um you know the moisturizer and the primer may not work so I can't really base it on you know that it's just something I've been wanting to do and oh my goodness my hair is a disaster fix this okay good enough alright so that is completely dry we'll be going in with the pure be your selfie that I've got and these are the colors as you see, you do get a mirror down here. These are the colors. And the names are on it. So we've got some matte shades and things like that. So I'm really excited to use this. So I'll go ahead and... Yeah, uh, it's completely dried down. Start with that. So I'm going to go in with my step one for the money brush from the vintage cosmetics company as you can see this is one of my favorite makeup brushes but i'm going to start with the color pure which is that just as a transition shade and i'll probably just do one eye right now that way i'm not sitting here for hours and hours and hours
So I really like that. It smells like chocolate, which I'm a big chocolate lover anyways. And it is a little bit dusty, so just be aware of that. Some things I will have to go into my regular makeup with because I don't have any brow products, I don't think, or any mascara. I think other than that, I've got like almost a full face. Okay, so there is that. The next shade I'm going to go in with is Free, which is the darker color here. I really like that. I'm just going to kind of put that kind of like in the crease. These are pretty pigmented. Well, Free shade requires a little bit of build up. A lot of build up, I guess. It must just look a lot darker in the pan. But I mean, the color is there, you just have to kind of build it up. And then the next shade, I think I'll go in with, there's only like four matte shades, um, is Strong, which is right there. So as you can see, there's not really, there's only like four matte shades in here, which I can work with. These are real pretty. It's like a neutral um, brown, I guess you could say. And I like that. I'm kind of start in the middle and bring it out so we'll be putting a shimmer shade in the front and I do have some makeup items from pure that I really do like so that's what it looks like so far just pause the video and I'll be right back to do the shimmer shades all right so went ahead and done the other eye as well now I think I'm going to go in with the confident which is that shade with my finger and all these seem really really smooth and buttery and I think shimmer shades or glittery shades are best applied with a finger I don't have any glitter or anything laid down like glitter glue or anything like that Just gotta build it up a little bit more. So just going back in with the confident, and that's kind of like what it looks like. If you hear my kids in the background, they are in their bedroom playing, so there is that. Alright, so I'll be right back once I get this kind of cleaned up because it's starting to look scary. 
very scary. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the eyes. The eyeliner I'm going to use is by Ulta Beauty. It just says eyeliner pencil in black. Like I said it came from um, an unboxing I think I had did. But that is kind of like a swatch. So we'll go ahead and try that. Um, so it's not very, okay, there we go. When I was first putting it on, it was kind of stiff, but now it seems to kind of be, um, heating up just a little bit with the warmth of my skin. And it seems to be a little bit easier going on. When I first tried it, it was a little bit rougher. So it's a little bit thicker than I wanted, but it, I mean, it looks pretty good. I think it skipped just a little bit, which may have been my fault. She it on the other eye now. But it seemed pretty creamy going on. I have to look into that. I usually prefer the um, like liquid pens instead of pencils to go in my eye. But it does come out off pretty easily. I mean, you, don't, you do have to scrub it a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up. My eyes, and I will have to find some mascara because I don't have one in here. So I will be right back when I put my mascara on, and then we'll move on to the face. Dropped it, so I did have to get into my regular makeup. And I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. And I didn't think that I would like it when I first got it. But it's a pretty good mascara. Um, and I don't want wear, wear fake eyelashes. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on and be right back all right so I'm really excited about this next item I just put on that mascara that's all I did and kind of cleaned it up a little bit more so the foundation I'll be using I've already put on the primer so the foundation I'll be using is the mega cushion foundation from wet and wild I know it says new like I said though I've had this for a little while I've never opened it and this is in light ivory which is light and neutral it's got a natural coconut derivative so this is my first time using a uh, using this kind of uh, foundation really like the packaging I know it's just kind of like every other packaging but you open it up you do have a really nice mirror and I've already took out the thing but you just open it up and right there is the product so right there is what it looks like and I'm not going to waste product obviously because that would be a little silly just hope it matches And I'm just going to take my e.l.f. ultimate or my e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. And what I'm going to do is it did come with a what did I do with it? Little powder 
puff thing and I don't use that I'm just going to take this and stick down in here after I get off the hair so as you can see it does have some on it actually quite a bit on there I think it's a little bit too light because I have been outside and I got this when I was a little bit lighter I think but we're going to work with it feels really cooling and scent like a cooling sensation when you do put it on that just you can definitely tell which if this matches if I can find a color that matches I may start wearing this because it does seem to go on pretty quick um, about using a I'm just going to use a sponge and dip in and kind of get on my nose and stuff this is just a sponge from shop miss a I really love their sponges I think this would be really good if you wanted to kind of build the coverage up like under your eyes or on like scars or something. And I have a birthmark right here and it seems to cover it pretty well. I don't know if I'd say it's like full coverage or not. But just take my brush and kind of spread it out just a little bit more. And just bring it down here a little bit so that way we don't have the mask. But I think it, you know, my, the color does match pretty well. I think the only thing I would get tired of is having to kind of constantly dip back in, but yeah. Okay, which seems pretty good though. going in on the little crevices of my nose and right here just to make sure the coverage is fairly even I will have to do my eyebrows here in a minute because I forgot to put my or just put some stuff in through my eyebrows. So I'm going to put this down and just kind of wipe it off here. Okay. So this does go in there 
pretty well. So there's that. I'm just going to kind of let this set it and put my pencil on in just a second. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put my concealer on. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Light Ivory. So, as you can see, this color does look pretty orange on me. I'm having just a little bit of trouble trying to get it to come out. This looks really, really, really orange. Oh my! Okay. Well, I don't know if I'll be using that anymore, but go ahead and blend it out. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, I just had a hard time kind of getting it out of the tube, um, but it seems to be going on fairly well. Um, I think once I got it blended out, it didn't really cover my dark under eyes, but I have those no matter how much sleep I get, they're there. I could probably sleep like 15 hours. And I don't think they go away. I just have dark under eyes. But maybe I just need to find another color of concealer. But I'm just kind of spreading it down here. Alright. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and grab my powder. Which is going to be Yoshamari. The Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, and this is in translucent. So this is my favorite powder. I will be back once I get this on. This is a mess, and the only thing about it, it's messy and it's a really strong smell. But to me, it's some of the best powder, as you can see. It just takes a little bit, but. I will be right back when I have this on. Alright, so the next item I'm going to be using is, let me make sure I, and I think if you don't set, well on me anyways, I had to set the foundation and concealer because it was really tacky. Um, the next thing I'm going to be using is this Ulta Beauty, kind of like face palette I guess. It's got a couple of bronzers, blushes, and it says highlighters. So this is a matte and shimmer bronzer is here. This is the rose blush, then the peach blush, pearl highlighter, and then the gold highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the blush not going to really be using the highlighter or the bronzer well yeah i guess i could i think i'm going to go in with the rose blush which is this one so i'm going to 
skip into it and that's No, I probably just use the brush or the blush today. I'm just gonna be sitting at the house, so there's no need to really go full glam. I just want to try some of this out. So again, it's kind of dusty. Me check. really pigmented which I really do like so as you can see there it is really like the blush um, I'll probably use that in another video and think for the lips I'm going to be using this bat beauty this is a amuse boosh lipstick in the color maroon oh there is one other thing that I am going to do I'm going to use this thrive cosmetics brilliant eye brightener it's a highlighting stick says uh, to use apply to brow bone lids borderline and corners of eyes. I'm going to try that and this is gorgeous packaging and you do get a sharpener at the bottom if you need it so this is what it looks like and I'm going to use it on the waterline really really smooth and creamy so that's what it looks like Really excited to use that now for the lips. This is what the packaging looks like. And of course, you know. Doesn't really have a smell. And I think I might have used this once, but I'm not sure. I had a little bit of lip balm on my lips. rubbing it in and again this color is in meringue As you can see, it's kind of like my lips, just prettier. <laughs> um, and I really like this color. I really like that color. It's real pretty. So I think this is probably my most favorite thing out of everything I've tried. It's not really sticky or anything. It's just real like have a moisturizing kind of like a white a light white lipstick my goodness so the next thing that I am going to be using is a hard candy matte sheer envy setting spray since the um, foundation and concealer was a little bit creamy I do like matte uh, makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and try this I don't typically use a whole lot of makeup from hard candy so this will be interesting but 
this is what the packaging looks like. So just shake it up. And try this out. I tend to sometimes overdo it with setting sprays. It's always been kind of a problem. That had a really, really good like dispenser, I guess. This the sprayer or the mister was really, really nice. And I, like I said, typically kind of overdo it with the um, setting sprays. But I like it. I think it's got a really good um, sprayer on it. Hmm. Huh. I have to check into that. But like I said, kind of like a first impression kind of video. I'm not going to say, oh, this was great. Because like I said, it's my first time trying new makeup with um, items I don't typically use. Like with my moisturizer and stuff. I usually have a certain moisturizer that I use. Um, you know, same thing with the primers and stuff. But, maybe, yeah. Alright, so that is that for this video. I really hope you liked it, and if you do, go ahead and tell me what other videos you'd like to see. I'm trying to get back into posting at least two videos a week. Right now, my schedule's pretty hectic because school's getting ready to start, basketball and cheerleading is getting ready to start, and all three of my girls is in sports this year. So, I'm trying to figure out when I can film and things like that. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, and hope to see you in my next one.